Hello everyone, my name is Advait Italia. I am a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems working for Cisco DNA Center team. Cisco DNA Center is a controller for secure access to network and applications. It provides digital agility to drive network visibility, insights, zero trust and programmability. Today, I am going to show you how easy it is to install Cisco DNA Center 2.x.x versions using Maglev CLI Wizard. In this video, I am going to show you three easy steps to install Cisco DNA Center. The first step is whenever you buy a Cisco DNA Center appliance, you will need to rack it, stack it, cable it in your data center. And once you do that, you are going to power on and then configure the CIMC IP address on it so that you can use the CIMC web UI and then access the KVM console. From the KVM console, run through the Maglev wizard and at the end, you will be able to see and log in to the Cisco DNA Center web UI. Moving on, I want to show you five important ports that are needed to be cabled and configured on Cisco DNA Center appliance according to your business needs. This picture shows the rear view of the appliance. The first one in the yellow is the CIMC port. This port will be used to access KVM console of Cisco DNA Center appliance so that you can start running the Maglev config wizard. The one on the top left is the enterprise port. It is a 10 gig port and it is used for Cisco DNS Center appliance to connect to the network that it is going to manage. The one on the top right is the intra cluster port. It is a 10 gig port and this port is used to connect other Cisco DNS Center nodes in the multi node cluster. The port in green is the management port. This is a 1 gig port and it will be used to access the web UI of Cisco DNA Center through your out-of-band network. The port in the red is an internet port. It is a 1 gig port and it will be used to provide the internet access to the Cisco DNA Center appliance which enables the cloud connectivity for any software updates that you would like to perform. The second step is a switch configuration. DNA Center appliance is connected to a switch and please ensure that it has the following configuration accurately. It has to be in an appropriate access VLAN and also ensure that the settings like speed, duplex, MTU are set accordingly on the switch ports. Once the connectivity is complete, the second step is to configure an IP address and other parameters to access the CIMC UI. Once this is configured, you will be able to log in to the web UI of the appliance by providing the SIMC credentials to gain the access to the appliance. And then the next step is to access the KVM console from the top right option of the launch KVM button in the drop down menu. Click on the HTML launch console and then you can now begin the installation of the appliance. So now let's jump in the live demo where I will walk you through the steps of Maglev CLI based wizard. This is the first screen that you will see when you start the Maglev configuration wizard. Select skip to continue installation. Select Start Cisco DNA Center Cluster. Select Start Using DNA C Pre Manufactured Cluster. Configure the Enterprise port over here. This port is used to link the DNA Center appliance to the Enterprise network. Enter IP address, netmask, DNS servers, static route values according to your network infrastructure. If you want to have higher bandwidth and load balancing, then enable LACP option. This option enables you to aggregate the two Ethernet interfaces for higher bandwidth. LECP option also enables you to have high bandwidth through NIC bonding. Once you are done entering all this info, select Next to proceed. This is the intra cluster port. The IP and the net mask will be pre populated in the wizard as it is hard coded by default. Here, the user does not have to do anything. Select Next to proceed. This is the management port. This port provides access to the Cisco DNA Center graphical user interface, allowing the users to use the software on the appliance. Enter the values of IP address and netmask and default gateway, etc. according to the network infrastructure of yours. This is for out of band management. Once done, click on next to proceed. Here, the wizard will validate the specified network settings and hence, Click next to proceed. After the successful validation, system will let you configure the network proxy. 
If DNA Center has a proxy server configured as an intermediary between itself and the network devices it manages or the Cisco cloud from which it downloads the software updates, you must configure the access to the proxy server. Once done, select next to proceed. Here you will get the option to configure the cluster details just in case you, if you plan to have a multi-node cluster in future. It gives an option to configure the cluster virtual IP address. This will be used to access the nodes with a single logical IP address. For example, if you want to upgrade all the three nodes in the same cluster using just one endpoint, then you will use this cluster virtual IP address. And when we trigger an upgrade from this IP, it will upgrade all the three nodes in the cluster. Once done, select next to proceed. In this step, you will configure the password for the root user for accessing the appliance via SSH. This will be the same password which you will use to try to log into the web UI for the first time. Once done, select next to proceed. Here, configure the NTP server for the time synchronization of the DNA center appliance and select next to proceed. Here, the wizard is now ready to apply the configurations to the controller and select next to proceed. The system will install the DNA center software, then it will give the status of the install whether it is completed successfully or not. This will be completed in fairly short amount of time, not more than 20 minutes. Once done, there will be a banner that will be there for 30 seconds, so be mindful of that, which indicates that the successful completion is done. Once this is done, you will be able to use the IP of management interface to log into the web UI for the first time and then start using the Cisco DNA Center appliance. As you can see over here, we have got a successful completion and the banner is suggesting that the configuration is succeeded. Now we will go to the browser and use the management IP to access the web UI of the Cisco DNA Center. So once we use the management IP on the browser and try to log in, it is asking us for the credentials that we set in the maglev configuration wizard. So I will use those credentials. I just logged in successfully. So once you successfully log in, it immediately tells you to change the password. I will skip that for now. It also asks you to associate your CCO ID with the DNA center appliance. I will skip that for now and I will click on next to accept the terms and conditions. So this is basically the UI of Cisco DNA Center. Now here are some important references for the detailed instructions and guides on Cisco DNA Center. The links to admin, install, platform and user guides have detailed information of Cisco DNA Center product as a whole. For more training videos like this, please do visit our YouTube channel and all the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video on installation process of Cisco DNA Center appliance.